Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to be making blackened chicken alfredo with zoodles. Let's get it. All right, guys, to start off this recipe, we have uh, some chicken breast here. Uh, this is two very large chicken breasts. Uh, cleaned them up, uh, removed some of the fat from them. And we basically started to butterfly them, but I just realized it'd be easier just to uh, just split these in half. So just cut them right down the middle and make four uh, breasts out of them. Also be easier to cook, quicker to cook. Uh, we season this up with some kosher salt and black pepper some of our cooking with the town to Cajun blackening seasoning as well as Italian seasoning and then we added in some olive oil and mixed all this together um, I was playing around with these graphics on my phone I don't know what this is I think <laughs> I think it's an okay symbol or something but uh, this is our Cajun and blackened seasoning and Italian seasoning with the ingredients that's in them and after we uh, uh, got the uh, meat seasoned up we got our cast iron pan and uh, put in some oil to it. And then we placed, uh, we got three of our chicken breasts in here easy with no problem. Uh, the fourth one basically just laid it over top. And as the meat cooks and shrinks up and release, releases some of its juices, that'll allow us to get it in and move it around the pan. And uh, this chicken got some nice color on it. Um, from the uh, seasonings that we added to it and uh, the browning of the cooking. We basically cooked this up. This took about almost like 10 to 12 minutes to cook. Um, I had this over a high heat, so just kept moving around and watching it uh, so that nothing burned, nothing stayed on one side for too long and nothing could darken or get too, too, too charred on it. After we uh, finished cooking the chicken we put that to the side and we started working on our uh, noodles these are uh, two zucchinis that we cut up and use our vegetti slicer um, the, the, the zucchini was wet so it's kind of hard to turn so I had to use a napkin to get inside there to really twist it around but these are the nubs that when it got down to the bottom I couldn't really twist it no more I guess I could have put a knife in there and twisted it around but it, it didn't matter I just took a knife and chopped these up into little slices that mimicked the size that the uh, zucchini noodles were and basically just gonna just saute all that up together and with these noodles they uh they're quite large so uh it just made one long continuous strand so i just took a knife and just chopped them up to make them more manageable um, now for our pan we had a uh, this is the remaining oil in the pan and we had some bits and uh seasoning some good flavor down there at the bottom of the pan so I basically just popped in some butter and also some softened cream cheese and started to cook that down and let that cheese soften to turn into liquid. Then we added in some uh, heavy whipping cream and just continued to cook down the uh, butter and cream cheese. Once everything got to a creamy, smooth consistency, we then added in our uh, Parmesan cheese and that added in our saltiness to it. Um, we still had some flavor and seasoning from the bottom of that pan that we that we picked up, but that Parmesan cheese basically added the salt that it needed to really bring the flavor to it. Once it was done and cooked down, and uh, we then added in some sour cream and mixed that in together, and our, our frail sauce was complete. Now for our noodles, we took a pan and just sprayed it with some cooking spray and popped in our zucchini noodles. Again, this was two uh, noodles, uh, two zucchinis that we uh, mixed up and added in some kosher salt, some black pepper, some garlic powder, and some Italian seasoning. And just so we can saute those up. Uh, now zucchini has a lot of liquid in it, a lot of water in them, and that basically came out on the pan. And as you can see, the liquid re releasing and adding into the pan. So we basically just made a little well so that it wouldn't just sit in those juices as much as possible. 
we just saute them up. They're gonna shrink down and get smaller. And once they get softened enough, they're basically done. Uh, if you want them firmer, you can cook them for a less amount of time. But uh, once they got soft enough, they were ready to go. Once our chicken finished resting, we then uh, went ahead and sliced it up. We got some, cut it in some fairly large chunks. And this is a close up of our chicken. Uh, nice, still juicy, still flavorful. It has a nice char on it, nice season. Here's our zucchini noodles. And then we poured in our Alfredo sauce on top. Just mix that up. Once that's combined, it's basically done. Uh, to plate it, we add it into a large bowl and then added in our chicken over top. I wanted to add some additional ingredients to it. I wanted to add some, uh, I also wanted to mix in some, some spinach, some sauteed spinach and some uh, jalapenos to uh, get more ingredients into the uh, vegetable noodle, zucchini noodle sauce, but um, I didn't. <laughs> I may try that again on the next one. But this is our uh, close up of the food, our noodles, um, nice coating of the Alfredo sauce on our zucchini noodles, zoodles. And the taste was great. The uh, cream cheese and heavy whipping cream added a nice thickness and creaminess to the sauce. And you, um, you, you the using the uh, oil and seasoning from the bottom of the pan from the chicken, that definitely brought a lot of flavor to it also. Um, if you want, you can definitely just do all that separate in a separate pan. And that will uh, give you a cleaner, whiter sauce. But that doesn't bother me at all. Um, if anyone has any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey guys, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All menu items are listed in the description box. And thank you guys for watching.